why don't you think functional programming, even just as a concept, catches on? Because everyone who does functional programming like starts wearing tie-dye t-shirts and like oh. gets converted <laughs> to the church of functional programming almost immediately. So like why hasn't it caught on? Okay, so you want me to piss off your entire community? Absolutely. Is that, no, like, just that, the yeah, 12 yeah, Haskell okay, users. Yeah. There's yeah, only 12 yeah, of because, them. <laughs> okay, it's, yeah, it's because, it's because functional programming, strictly defined, is dumb. Like, okay. it doesn't actually make sense. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that polarizing enough for you? <laughs> no, that's, that's um, great. More, more! So, <laughs> yeah, no, more! So, 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 again, I'm being hyperbolic, right? But, the, uh, but here's why, right? So... So much of computing is about defining mutable state and managing that. Functional programming says, cool, you can do that. And the way you manage mutable state is by making an entire copy of the data structure with the changes in the new copy of the data structure. This is what generally people mean by functional programming, although you can define it in lots of other different ways, right? And so if you say it's purely functional, what that does is that means you have no in-place mutation. Okay. Here's mm -hmm. the problem. Computers... <laughs> They're all bags of mutable state. And so if you're mm -hmm. saying, I'm going to reallocate and copy the entire data structure to make a change somewhere in a tree, well, it's just extremely slow. And so again, back in the day, maybe it was okay. And, and for many use cases, it's fine, obviously, right? But, but what Swift did was Swift moved from let's have functional programming to let's have value semantics. And I probably don't want to go into it deeply here, but value semantics are strictly more powerful than that form of functional programming because you get separation and logical composition of behavior like functional programming gives you, but you also get in-place mutation. And mm -hmm. so it's a strictly more powerful model. It is uh, much faster in practice and obviously scaled to millions of people and things like this. And so, um, so I mean, so th there are better things than that, that form of functional programming. Now, it's also super funny because when you say what is functional programming, well, some people say Scala is functional, right? And lots of lots of Scala programmers identify as functional programmers, even though they don't have lack of mutation. They don't. It's not what what you would consider like OCaml or Haskell is is that right? I mean, a Haskell programmer would say that that OCaml isn't properly functional because it's not it's strict, right? Yeah, so, and it has mutable like fields, so, so you can update in yeah, place. So yeah. it would be no longer That's functional. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, and so, like again, like there's a holy war aspect here. But what, what, when I say functional programming is dumb, what I mean is, in practice, like making an entire copy of a data structure change one part of it, like that, that doesn't actually work well for modern large scale applications. And so that that one little piece is is that. Now, I love all the people, and so they'll attack me for saying <laughs> this, but that's okay. I can take it.